Hi, my name is Dana Townsend, and I'm with the Syrian American Medical Society Foundation. As a result of the war in Syria, nearly 12 million people have been displaced, and almost half of this population are children. They've spent some of the most formative years of their lives in unstable situations and experienced extraordinary trauma and loss. Over the last nine years, these experiences have had a massive toll on their mental health, with almost 60% showing signs of distress. One teacher described them as psychologically crushed and tired, while a psychiatrist working with us at SAMS described it as human devastation syndrome. To give a specific example, SAMS worked with a boy named Omar who was only 11 years old when he saw a bomb fall on his family's home. As a result of the bombing, he lost his hearing and continued to decline mentally. Without access to mental health support, Omar experienced episodes of anger, violence, and paranoia. Him and other children like him have lost their childhoods and struggled to cope. And to make matters worse, mental health support just isn't really available. Mental health professionals have had to flee as a result of the conflict, health facilities have been targeted and bombed, and professional education has been largely interrupted. The situation is especially bad within Syria, where it's harder to reach for humanitarian actors. At the SAMS Foundation, we're addressing this issue by recruiting women in Northwest Syria and training them as mental health counselors through a program called CETA, the Common Elements Treatment Approach. The CETA training is effective for three main reasons. One, it's transdiagnostic. This means that we can, tr we can train them in a single treatment protocol to treat a range of disorders rather than having to train them in a different protocol for each disorder. Two, it uses a task sharing model. So training non-specialists to provide basic mental health care helps free up time and resources for higher trained professionals to provide specialized care. And three, the women we're training are also displaced. So we know from previous research that it, m mental health care tends to be more effective when it's delivered by people who have those shared experiences from the same community, even if they're less trained. All of this makes it easier to scale up for humanitarian settings. During this initial round, we'll be training 30 women to provide care to 720 children. The SAMS Foundation will lead implementation via our office in Turkey and our staff in Northwest Syria. Johns Hopkins will lead the CETA training and supervision of counselors with their partners in Lebanon. And Stanford will lead data collection and analysis. We're hoping to replicate this in other places so that we can treat more children while also empowering women by providing them with technical skills. What we really need is more funding so that we can not only train more women, but train them fully as trainers to make the program more sustainable. And we're also hoping to get funding to do more research so that we can understand the infrastructure needed to bring this project to scale. We hope that you can support us. Thank you.